Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to discuss about title of our project Real Time Super Pixel Segmentation by DP Scan Clustering Algorithm Now we are going to discuss about abstract of our project In this process we propose a real time image super pixel segmentation method with the 50 frames by using the density based spatial clustering of applications with the noise the DP scan algorithm, in order to reduce the computational cost of the super pixel algorithm, we adopt a first, first two step framework. In this first clustering stage, the DP scan algorithm with the color similarity and the geometrical restriction is used to rapidly cluster the pixels and then small clusters are merged into a super pixel by their neighborhood through the distance methods defined by the color and spatial feature in the second merging stage. The robust and the simple distance function is set defined for an up, obtaining the better super pixel in these two steps. The experimental results demo, uh, demonstrated that our real time super pixel algorithm by the DP scan clustering output performance the state of art super pixel segmentation method in terms of the both accuracy and the efficiency now we are going to discuss about the flow diagram of our project first one is on a image acquisition here we get on a one input image the first stage of any vision system is the image acquisition stage image acquisition is the digitalization and storage of an image First, capturing the input image from the source file by using UI get file and IM read function. User can able to changing the size of the image by providing the pixel height and width with the help of the IM resize function. Here, image resize is applied means then we go for an Gaussian filter pre-processing method. The input images were linear filtering. We are applying the Gaussian filter to our input image. The Gaussian filter is often used to remove the noises from the images. Its process is employed to filtering the images in order to remove the unwanted pixels in the images. Next, the output value is goes to the medium filter. The median filter is normally used to reducing the noises in an image some somewhat like that are a mean filter however it often does a better job than the mean filter of preserving the useful detail in the image like the mean filter the median filter considering each pixels in the images in turns and look at the neighbor nearby neighbors to decide whether or it is uh, whether or not it is repetitive of its surrounds instead of the simply replacing the pixels values with the means of neighboring pixel values it replacing with the medium of those va those values the median is calculated by first sorted all the pixels values from the surrounding neighborhood into the numerical order and then replacing the pixel being considered with the mid middle pixel values Next one is uh, the median values go to the super pixel, SLIC super pixel. The super pixel are becoming uh, increasingly popular for users in computer vision applications. However, there are few algorithms that output the designing a number of regular compact super pixels with the low computational overhead. We introducing a novel algorithm called SLIC that is simple linear iterative clustering that clustering pixel in the combination of five dimensional colors and image plane space to effectively generating the compact nearby the uniform super pixels. The super pixel segmentation can be considered as a cluster problem but each super pixel containing a unique features in the color and shape next we apply for a dp scan clustering algorithm in the dp scan algorithm is based on the uh, distance based neighbor finding then labeling the image then drawing the boundary region based on the distance the dp scan is a density based cluster algorithm and it will be improving the performance of the segmentation algorithm by adding the geometric constraints the proposed method including the two stages the clustering stages and merging stages first we aggregated the pixel to get the initial super pixels by dp scan algorithm secondly 
those initial super pixels are refined to obtaining the final super pixel results though the merging the very small super pixel here we are applying the different types of threshold values first one is on a distance based threshold applied of one then five finally applied then then we comparing with an a dpst clustering algorithm now we are going to discuss about the output of our project first open the matlab tool matlab bar 2013 is our tool name then open the current folder selected a main.m file and right click the file to run a project click run button now we are going to select the one database image now i selected a 2.jpg file now run the project first first stage is on our project is get an input image then resizing the image the resized image is goes to the uh, filtering process first one is a uh, gaussian filters the gaussian filter is used to removing the unwanted pixels in the images next one is a uh, median filter the median filter is used to removing the repeating pixels uh, in the images next one is a uh, first one is an uh, input image the input images is resized here then displayed here the input images is applied for an uh, gaussian filters to remove the unwanted noises in our uh, images next one is an uh, median filter the, the median filter is applied to removing the repeating pixels in the uh, images that is uh, unwanted noises next one is an uh, super pixel images the super pixel is applied here next one is an uh, dp scan image the dp scan images is applied based on the distance based clustering is done then the distance threshold value is 1 next one is a uh, distance threshold value is 5 here the dp scan image distance threshold value is 5 next one is we are going to apply for uh, distance threshold value is 10 finally we comparing the dp scan images so uh, distance value is 1 and 5 and 10 Thank you for listening. Our demo is completed. Thank you.